Hey everybody, my name is Wally Khan and I'm going to be taking over Nurse.org today for CRNA week. For those of you that may not know, I am an SRNA, a student registered nurse anesthetist. And uh, pretty much I'm going to take you through my day and uh, show you what it's like to be a SRNA. Um, and if you guys have any questions along the way, we'll have a conversation. Just to let you know, my day is beginning with COVID testing uh, because we're going to be going on campus. And anytime we go on campus and we meet with our classmates, we have to do that. So typically I have a very strict and monotonous routine and it's monotonous because it has to be, it has to be very structured, especially because, you know, going to CRNA school at home, it requires a certain level of discipline. Um, and if you don't have that, you fall behind really quickly because there's just a overload, overloading amount of volume that we're given every single day that we have to learn and master and it just keeps going. Today I got delayed by three hours on my study, almost four hours because I have to drive and go get COVID tested and then drive back because the site is about an hour and a half away and I have to go on campus for that. So I'm going to eat breakfast now. It's about 2.47 p.m. and then I'm going to get my day started with studying and I'll kind of show you guys how I set up and how I do everything. So before I get carried away, let me give you some background information on my program. Um, so I started in May of 2020, so about nine months ago. I'm in a DNP CRNA school. Um, DNP meaning it's a doctorate of nurse anesthesia. It's three years long and my program is front loaded. So majority of our classes, almost all the classes are before residency actually starts. So we do our didactic coursework first and then we go into our residency, which is 18 months afterwards. A lot of programs, um, they're kind of like hybrid. They might do some classes and clinicals at the same time. We do didactic work, so a lot of book work and simulation. Um, and then we start out residency. So I am in quarter number three of 12 right now. And in about three weeks, this quarter will end. And then we will officially start um, quarter four, which is the intro to all of the anesthesia content. Um, so right now, we've just been doing all the preliminary science classes like advanced patho, advanced phase, advanced... All right, so I am uh, now at my study station or in my office my CRNA school classroom. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I get set up and how I do stuff, check it out. All right, so I use Notability. Um, it's an app on the iPad and on Android, it's available. Others like to use something called GoodNotes. Uh, I think that's for Microsoft. But anyways, um, so I'm starting off with um, far, no, Patho today. We're doing renal pathology. Uh, it's the second portion of that lecture. Uh, multiple screens is so, 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 so necessary just because there are so many tabs, man, when you're doing research um, that you need to have open and you want to be able to go between information. And I have this uh, connected with my HDMI cable. So you can take this from here and expand essentially your laptop, right? So I'm going to start this lecture now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and continue updating and showing you what uh, school looks like at home. Work out though. So Today was an exception, only got about seven hours of studying in because you know I had the whole drive and COVID test. But um, I just made it out here to the gym, gonna get a workout in, and because everything was so pushed off, try to get a little bit more studying in after the workout. 